Oh, this game's hilarious. Why did I get, oh, game over? Because I found mom instead of the game. All right, well, how the heck do I get past this part? You know what? This is it. I'm gonna stop the recording, upload it to Reddit, and hopefully the hive mind that is the internet will tell me how to get past this part. Hello, my tech-minded friends. Welcome to DIY in 5. I'm Trisha Hirschberger, and today we'll be breaking down how to record your smartphone screen, whether you're on iOS or Android. For those moments when you want to share your kick-ass fallout shelter with the rest of the world, or show mom or dad how to delete their cookies since telling them never seems to get the message across, this video's got you covered. If you find the info in today's video helpful, feel free to give us a like and subscribe for future DIY tech tips. I assume if you clicked this video, you may already have something on your mobile device that you want to record, but just in case that's not the case, let's talk about why you might want to screen record your phone in the first place. A lot of us are often called upon as tech support for other members of our families and friends, and showing people what to do can be much more effective than trying to explain it. All right, mom, uh, swipe down from the top of the screen. Yeah, and you see that little gear in the upper right corner? It's in the upper right corner. Yes, it looks like a little circle with notches on it. Or maybe you're the one looking for some troubleshooting assistance. Close it out, launch it, and force, force close. Thanks. Maybe you figured out something really cool in your favorite app or game and want to share it for internet points. Or for gaming content creators, if you want to show off a mobile game you are particularly fond of. Maybe you want to record a Skype call or a friend's Instagram story. Who does IGTV stories horizontally? That is Kale. really good. These are all great reasons you may want to record from your phone. Let's start with the iPhone, since Apple did us a solid by building native screen recording right into iOS. If you're running iOS 11 or newer, you can simply go to your settings, control center, customize controls, then tap the plus sign next to screen recording. On an iPhone X or later, swipe down from the upper right corner of the screen and long press the record button icon. You can then choose if you'd also like to record from the microphone for commentary. Tap start recording and you'll see a three second countdown after which you are recording. To stop recording, simply open your control center and tap the recording button icon again or tap the red recording status bar at the top of the screen and hit stop. You may notice a tiny red timer bubble or even a full red bar at the top of your recording. If you want to record, say, for professional reasons without that in the mix, you can also record from a connected Mac running Mac OS 10.10 or higher using a lightning cable and QuickTime. Simply connect the device, launch QuickTime, start a new movie recording, and choose your iPhone as the camera in the recording settings. You can find this by clicking the small downward arrow to the right of the record button. This method allows you to capture audio using either your iPhone or Mac's microphone for commentary. On Android, while there's no native screen recording built into the OS, there is a plethora of both free and paid apps out there that will get the job done. Google has a hand in this whole thing with screen recording functionality built into both YouTube gaming and Google Play games. But other apps are simpler and more versatile in case you want to record something other than a game. One of the most popular is DU Recorder. It's a high quality recorder that has editing software built in with no recording time limit, and it records up to 1080p, 12 megabytes per second, and 60 frames per second. It also allows you to record using a face cam at the same time and stream your content out live. Hello, content creators. Another feature for our reluctant tech support friends is that you can choose to have your click operations recorded if you'd like. Super useful, and like I said, one of many options out there. Check out AZ Screen Recorder, Super Screen Recorder, and plain old Screen Recorder if you want to explore other options. So that's that. Not too tricky at all. If you have a favorite screen recording app not mentioned in this video for Android or iPhone, let us know in the comments. And also, just for fun, what's the best use of smartphone screen recording that you've ever seen? And let's keep the answers more Facebook than 4chan if you catch my drift. Okay friends, catch you on the next one with more tech tips on DIY in 5.